Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bien, ¿y usted? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Gracias por preguntar. Vale. Vamos a dar inicio el día de hoy. Recordemos siempre este, mantener la cámara encendida. Solo en caso estén teniendo algún inconveniente, pueden escribir en el chat de Zoom haciéndome saber la razón por la cual no la tienen encendida. De lo contrario, pues, es uno de los requisitos mantener la cámara encendida. Eh, quiero ver... Bueno, espero que hayan avanzado con las evaluaciones en la plataforma. Y este, vamos a dar inicio el día de ahora. Welcome to today's class. And uh, we are going to start with the new topic. Today's topic is going to be the present continuous. The present continuous. I'm going to type it on, um, on the Zoom chat. And I'm going to also send you the formula. The formula will be subject plus B plus a verb plus ing plus complement. That is going to be the structure, okay? And now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Um, I can see. Yes, I can see. Thank you for letting me know. And uh, there you also have uh, the lesson, the lesson objective. And I'm going to ask one of you to read it. Hector, can you please read uh, the lesson for today's topic? Okay. In this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and play the video. And once you can listen to the video, just let me know. I think it's loading, by the way. Okay, can you listen to the sound or not yet? Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31, exercise three, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay. So, according to the conversation, what was the question? If you put attention. What was the question? What 
Where do Rita's parents live? Where, where do they live? Were you able to listen to? And what do they do? In Texas. Okay, what do they do? What's their job? Were you able to understand it? Yes or no? She said the mother is a teacher in, in, in an university. Okay. And her father is a carpenter. Thank you. An applause for Hector. Thank you so much, Hector. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Um, there you had the conversation. If you go to Zoom's chat, you will be able to see that conversation. Now, uh, I need some volunteers, Alejandro and Efember. Read the conversation, please. Okay, I'm going to be Rita. Okay. Uh, right. Tell me about your brother and sister. Uh, with, with who? Uh, you are talking with Alejandro. Okay, tell me about your brother and your sister, Alejandro. Well, my my sister works for the government. Oh, what what does she do? Aha, uh -huh, Alejandro. I'm not sure. You see, working on the very secret uh, project right now. Wow. And what secret. about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, oh, no. My sister away. She is now working in the United States this, this month. And your brother? He, he is traveling in, in the Amazon. Okay, thank you. An applause, great job. Now, uh, two more volunteers. Okay, Geraldine. David, uh, Maria Santos, do you have issue with your camera? Okay, Geraldine and Brenda. Okay. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. You started, uh, me and start. Uh, you I can start. Letter A, Brenda. Okay, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister away. She not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Thank you. Now, David and another volunteer. Davy and Alexandra, carry on. Go ahead. You're on mute, Alexandra. Alexandra, you're you're on mute. Sorry. I stopped. Okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay. You can start. Listen. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, baby. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I have Sylvia and I need the last volunteer. Okay, Sandra. Okay, I am Rita. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sandra. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She's working a um, very secret project right now. Oh, and what about your brother? He's well life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. Your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. 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 Okay. So I'm going to type the use of the, uh, the present continuous on the chat. The present continuous is used when the action is happening at the moment or right now. The present continuous is used when the action is happening at the moment. Or you can also say right now. Okay, so there you have the information about the present continuous. If you want to write the information on your notebook, that will be great. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay, so there you have the rules for the present continuous. First of all, you need to know uh, the rules. You need to know the rules first for the present continuous. Um, and that, that rules applies to um, some verbs. And we have, we have the rules. The first rule says, just let me select a pencil here. Okay. <clears throat> Here you have the first rule, and it says verbs ending in letter E. Okay, what you are going to do, you are going to eliminate the letter E. Okay, and you are going to add ing. Is it clear? Yes, I clear. It's clear. Okay. Thank you. Now, Geraldine, uh, tell me, if you add ing to believe, how will it, how will it be? Believing. Believing. Thank you. Leyland, have. Leyland. Uh, hello, teacher. <laughs> have. With ing will be. Uh, in have you eliminate the letter e and you are going to add ing and that will be. Ing. Having. Yes. Yeah. David, live. 
Live. Uh -huh. Live. No, with the ING form. Okay, we cannot hear you. Luis, live will be? Live. Okay, David, your microphone is on. I think you are in the gym. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sandra, take with the ING will be? Taking. Taking, thank you. Patricia, move with the ING will be? Moving. Thank you. Now, let's see. Uh, we have uh, Lydia, if you can see, we are going to continue with the second rule. And the second rule says, there are short one syllable verbs ending with consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. If you see the verb sit has letter S, which is consonant, letter I, vowel, and letter T for tango is consonant. So consonant, vowel, consonant, what you do is to duplicate. You are going to double the final letter or the final consonant. And what you are going to do at the end will be just adding the ing form. So for example, Maria Santos, sit will be? Lydia, sit will be? Sitting. Sitting, thank you. Norma, uh, Lizeth, get with the ing form will be? Maria Santos, get with the ing form will be? Okay, guys, can you listen to? Catherine, go ahead, please. Yes, I, I listen to. Thank you, get? Uh, getting. Thank you. Norma Leticia, plan. Kevin, plan with the ING. Planning. Planning. Okay. Uh, Leyland, run with the ING. It's running, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Sandra. Uh, stop with the ing and stopping thank you if you see with this short one syllable verbs you duplicate the last consonant okay and you add ing question so far or is that clear that's clear it's clear it's so we also have two or more syllable verbs Begin, how many syllables? Begin, two syllables. Forget, two syllables. What do you do? You are going to also duplicate the last consonant, okay? And you are going to add ing. Uh, Luis Miguel, begin with the ing. Thank you. Patricia, forget. Forgetting. Alejandro, regret. Regretting. Eugene, admit. Admitting. Okay. Ephemer, upset. Upsetting. Thank you. Okay. And we also had the last verb. I mean, the last rule. We had rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, and rule number four. What does the rule number four says? It says that all the verbs ending IE, what you are going to do, 
you are going to eliminate IE and you are going to add, I mean, you are going to change IE to letter Y. And then you are going to add ING. Example, Alexandra, die becomes? Brian. Brenda, lie becomes? Lying. Hector, tie becomes? Uh, tying. Thank you. Question so far? Or is that clear? Yes. I, I, am, I have a question. Okay. Two. Who has a question? Uh, in, the, in the case of cry. In the case of? Cry. 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 Uh-huh. The baby is crying. Crying. Uh-huh. What happened with that bird? Uh, bueno, en español se lo digo. ¿En qué categoría entraría en esta? Porque tiene, uh -huh. tengo entendido que, que, bueno, según esa explicación, entraría uh -huh. en, quiero ver, en, en esta de Begin. No. En no, general, no, no. in general, the majority or in general, I'm going to type it on the Zoom's chat. The majority, or in general, majority is with letter J. Majority, or in general, we add ING to the, uh, to the verbs, to the majority of the verbs. We just add ING. For example, cry, becomes crying. Este no entra en ninguna regla. Los que le mostré, esos tienen regla. Y the first, the first one over here, if you see, there is a rule. If the verb ends in letter E, what do you do? You eliminate the letter E and you are going to add ing. That is the first rule. First rule. Second rule, one short syllable verb. Consonant, vowel, consonant. You duplicate. The third rule, two or more syllable verbs. You also duplicate the final consonant. And the rule number four, verbs ending in IE, you eliminate IE for letter Y. And you are going to add ING. Is it clear? I have a question. Yes. I see that the, the second and three rule yeah. is the same because mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the tools. You apply the same rule. Yes. You apply uh, the same rule. Uh -huh. The exactly. difference only, yeah, is that. Only different is a syllable, right? Exactly. But it's the same rule. It's the same rule. The difference is the syllables. For example, sit, one syllable. Get, one syllable. Plan one syllable, run one syllable. And the rule number three, it says two or more syllables. For example, begin, begin two syllables. Forget, regret, admit, upset. That's the difference, the syllables. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, any other question? Okay. If you don't have more questions, let's continue. There you have, there you have, um, let's see, let me move it forward. 
there you have the structures, positive, negative, and also you also have questions. And the structure is subject. If you can see the Zoom's chat, you will be able to see that information. Subject plus verb B plus verb plus ing plus complement. That is the, the, the rule, basically. That is the rule. Now, um, here you have, if you see, you say, I am with the first subject pronoun. Second one, you say, you are. Okay. If you see here, he, she, and it, you say, it is. Is it clear? We, you and they, you say, we are, you are, they are. Yes? yes. And this is for affirmative. So, Ephemer, read the first sentence for affirmative. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, affirmative or positive. Okay, I'm working. Alexandra. Uh, in the negative form? No, positive. Uh, um, the same? Second one. On the next one. Ah, you are working. Eugene, next. He's working. Okay, Alejandro, next. She is working. Okay, tengo una curiosidad. Y sáqueme de dudas. Yo estoy usando un lapicito acá. Y estoy tratando como de jugar con manzanitas y carritos y todo. ¿Pueden ver este, este, este lapicito? Sí. Ah, ok. Es que yes, uh, I do. Tengo, tengo esa duda porque a veces les estoy marcando acá y ustedes leen otra cosa. O pareciera que no ven, la, no ven o, o no están viendo la pantalla, no sé. Díganme Pero ustedes. sí se ve bien claro. Ah, ok. okay. Sí, Tenía esa duda, sí. Igual, igual uno también lo puede manchar. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Vale, gracias por clarificarme. Eh, Héctor, continue with the next one. Um, she is working thank or you. it is working. Ok. I don't know which one. <laughs> ok, guys. Era, era lo que les mencionaba. Aquí había marcado. And that was your... Uh, opportunity. Let's continue. Um, Alejandro. It is working. Alejandro. We are working. Thank you. Yes. Héctor, ibas a decir algo, disculpame. No, so le, le, es como usted mencionaba que a veces así dibujito, pero es que como que el, el lapicito va con, con retraso, entonces no termina de dibujarse algo. Solamente eso era. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Gracias por aclararme. Gracias, gracias. Ok. Eh, Brenda, continue with the next one. After we are working. You are working. Thank you. Jenny. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth? Sí, sí. Uh, they are working. No. Sí, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And now, guys, we had the negative form. Okay. I hope that you are writing the information on your notebooks. Okay. So, for negative, the first person you say, I'm not working. You are not, or you can say the contraction. You aren't working. If you see for the third person, he, she, and it, you can say he isn't, she isn't, it isn't working. And you have here with we, you, and they, you say, we aren't, you aren't, they aren't. 
or they are not. You are not, we are not. Questions with the negative form? Zero. Okay, David, read the first uh, sentence. Okay, teacher. Um, I am not working. Thank you, Lydia, next. You aren't working. Thank you. Brenda, next. He isn't working. Kevin, next. He isn't working. Maria Santos, next. Okay, Kevin, next. It isn't working. Okay, uh, Mr. Baldomar, next. We Catherine. Are working. Oh, thank you. Catherine, next. You aren't working. Geraldine, next. Uh, they aren't working. They aren't working. Guys, have you ever thought or have you ever asked yourself, why do we have you aren't working twice, two times? Why? Do you know? No. Huh? Can you repeat the question? Do you know why do we have you aren't working once and we have you aren't working twice here? The why? The first part uh, is for singular and the second is for plural. Okay. Mm, yeah. It's so, the same. So, okay, I believe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. For a second person, singular. Yes. Yes. And the, the second option is for second person plural. Excellent. Great. In Spanish, do you know how to say that in Spanish? The first option? How, no, how we... estás trabajando. Okay, and this one? Um, sería, ustedes están trabajando. Oh, Excellent. perdón, ustedes no están trabajando. Excellent. Uh, positive, ustedes están trabajando. Okay. Uh, negative. No you are not working, ustedes no están trabajando. Excellent. Great. Okay, excellent. Now let's move on to the next part. And here, if you see the bird to be, this is the bird to be. Am um, is, am um, is are. Let me see. Am um, is are. This is the bird to be. So, if you see for questions, the bird to be is at the beginning of the sentence. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, Norma Leticia, read the first question. Am I working? Am I? Am I am working? I, am I working? Francisco, okay. next question. Are you working? Thank you. Norma Leticia, next. Is he working? Brenda, next. Is it working? No. The previous one. Uh, sorry, is she working? Thank you. Kevin. Is it working? Hector. Are we working? Thank you. David. Geraldine. Are you working? Alexandra. Are they working? Excellent. Okay. Thank you guys for your participation. 
questions so far? No questions. No questions at all? Okay. Great. Let me stop sharing this PowerPoint presentation and let's move on to something else. Okay, um, let's continue with the exercises. It says, check your knowledge, check your knowledge. Um, I need a volunteer to read uh, this information. Who wants to read it? Any volunteer? Teacher. Yep. You are sharing the same, the the same the screen. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay, thank you. Now, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Thank you for letting me know. And I'm going to try one more time. Okay, there you go. I think you can see it now. Thank you. Uh, David, go ahead, please. Read the knowledge check instructions. Okay, instruction. Mm -hmm. Look at the Sang's family tree. Who are these people re related to related. the hint? Ah, pardon. Uh, related to the hint. Write the answer on the spaces. The space, spaces. Provider. Provider. Mm -hmm. Use uh, you host need to detail the name, not sentence. Do not include the. Uh, how do you say? Period. Period. Okay. So instructions. Look at Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Write the answers on the space provider. You just need to type the name, not a sentence. Do not include the period. Okay, great. If you see, we have the family members right here. Okay, on the picture. Let me go ahead and move this one over here on the top of the screen. Um, let me show you the vocabulary first. The vocabulary. You will, you will be able to see it over here. Can you see it? Those are small uh, words. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger for you guys. Mm, no, the system didn't allow me. So sorry about it. Okay, but if you see the small words, you will be able to read them and it says cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. Okay, here you have grandmother and, I'm sorry, grand, grandfather and? Grandmother. 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 Excellent. If we have Mother here, what word is missing here? Father. 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 Okay. If we have aunt here, what word is missing here? Uncle. 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 Okay. So Sam is the husband and Yumiko is? Wife. 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 So you have brother and sister. sister in law. Sister in -law. In -law. Okay. And you also have here. There is a um, cousin. Are you sure? No, no, no. 
Okay. Now Is let's it? complete let's complete the exercises. It says Andy. Is Sam's grandfather and Martha is grandmother. Grandmother is grandmother. Grandmother. Okay. Thank you. The next one. Chris is Sam's father. 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 Chris is fan. I'm sorry. Sam's father. Okay. A uh, manual is Sam's uncle. Okay, thank you. Sam is married to Yumiko, she is his wife. Wife, no wife, I right? Wife, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number five, Sam <laughs> has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's? Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Okay. Sister or sister-in-law? Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Sister okay. Okay. Number six, Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. 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 And Jim and Lisa had two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's niece. 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 And Jimmy is his nephew, niece. Okay, let's see the answers. All right. Great job, guys. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> Excellent, an applause for everybody. Great. Okay, now let's continue. With the lesson objective, Hector, read the, the lesson objective, please. Okay, at the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask an answer question using the present continuous. The present continuous. Now, let me play the video. Once you can listen to the video, let me know, please. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing <coughs> plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion block. Okay, great. 
Now, if I ask you that question, what are you doing right now? What would be your answer? I am a student. I am a studying. I am studying. I'm studying English. Okay. Great. Can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Or you can't? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Great. Now, let me go ahead and, and share with you other questions. There you have. A, let's see. David, read the, the number one. What are you doing? If I ask you the question, what would be your answer? David? Lola. Uh, the, uh, the number one. Yes. Okay. Repeat. What are you uh, doing? You're going to just read. The uh, that fans are shouting with with Joe. Uh, no. No. Mm -mm. Let me move this. This go? one. Let me the go first ahead thing and writing in my notebook. Okay, excellent. Let me move this option here. This one over here, if I ask you, what are you doing? You see, you see I'm eating. eating. That's your answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, Catherine, what is your mother doing? Um, just now. Okay. Okay, I just thought. Just need to read the the information that you already have here. I'm just asking you different questions to match with the answers. I coming home. Okay, my mother is coming home. Thank you. My mother is coming home. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Just read it, Sylvia, this one. What are you, what are you doing now is a question. Okay, thank you. Sandra, go ahead, please. Leila, continue. Excuse me, teacher. The battery. The battery is not working. Okay, Leila, go ahead, please. Next sentence. Okay. The fans are showing with joy. Thank you. Francisco Valdomar, next. He is not working very hard. Patricia, thanks, next. Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. Children are playing in the park. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Patricia, next. What is Mr. Samuel doing? This one, Patricia. What? <clears throat> uh, Mm. He... What is Mr. Samuel doing? Patricia, this one. I'm not watching TV right now. Uh, uh, I'm not watching TV right now. Sorry. Thank you. Catherine, next. Children are playing in the park. Okay, Ephemer, next. What is Mr. Samuel doing? Next. The company, the company is. is... Mm -hmm. Fember. Okay. You're on mute. The hello, company hello. is doing well this year. 
The company is doing well this year. Eugenio, next. Bears are chipping in the trees. Thank you. Sylvia, next. We are printing an ebook. Alexandra, next. You look sad. Why are you crying? Ephemer, next. She's playing football. Sandra, next. People are waiting for the plane to take off. Kevin, next. She's not going with you. With you. Jenny, next. Jenny Elizabeth. I'm going to the doctor right now. I'm going to the doctor. Luis, next. I am not giving it back to you. I'm not giving it back to you. Okay, Brenda, next. Many workers are participating in a sport. Excellent, in sports. Okay, questions so far? No yo, tengo, uh -huh. yo solo tengo una duda con la pronunciación del verbo imprimiendo. Printing. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, let's see. Let me go ahead and erase all this information, guys. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to show you. Sorry. Okay, let me see. Clear all drawings. Excellent. Great. And applause. Okay, guys. Now, there you have, there you have the information here for um, present continuous. If you want to ask, Additional information, you can say who, what, when, where, why, and how. So when do we use who? But I can ask about person. For people. Who? Who Alexandra, who? when do we use what? Um, para preguntar el qué? to ask about additional information, okay. like personal information. Silvia, when do we use when? When we use for ask about dates. <laughs> dates, time. Davey, when do we use where? Where's used in place. Places, okay. Places. Okay. Hector, when do we use why? We use why when we want to ask about reasons, I okay. guess. Okay, a reason. Okay, give me a reason. Okay, Eugene, when do we use how? How is how are? Mm, okay, who has the answer? When do we use how? Process and manner. Process and manner. Excellent. Now, uh, here you can say who. Okay, I want you to complete questions. And let's see, uh, Hector, by looking at the information here or the structure, I want you to create a question for one of your classmates. You can be creative. Here you just have an example only, but you can ask your uh, personal questions. You can complete your personal questions. Hector, who are you going to select to? Mm. I select Catherine. Catherine, yes. Uh-huh. Um, 
Can I ask whatever I want? Whatever you want. Okay, Catherine. Um, when are you? No. Let me think. Mm -hmm. When are you eating? Where are you eat? Where are you eat your breakfast? Mm, no. Can I say this? No. no. Remember that uh, you use the present continuous for actions that are happening right now. Oh, okay. at the moment. For example, I can I can ask Eugene. Eugene, what are you? studying right now. Uh, I, I want to say the answer. Uh, no, I'm asking uh, the question. What are you studying right now? You need to answer that question. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. Teacher. okay, Alexandra, what are you studying right now? Oh, sorry. What are you studying right now? Uh, I am studying in English. Okay, remember that this information here, those are just examples for you to follow the structure. But you can ask your own questions to your classmates. What, teacher? Uh -huh. what are you cooking? I'm not cooking. I'm teaching. <laughs> okay, excellent. I can say, uh, what is your father watching on TV, David? Watching on TV. What is your father watching on TV? Um, the play soccer. Okay, he is watching a soccer he match. Is watching soccer match. He is watching a soccer match. Okay. So, Brenda, why are you studying English? I study English for my sister. Okay, to help my sister. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, she is, uh, can use because or not? No. Yeah, I'm studying oh, okay. because I want to help my sister. Oh, okay. Okay. No, my sister is speaking English. Ah, okay. So your sister speaks English. Okay. Yeah. Ka uh, Catherine. Uh, where is your dog playing? Can you repeat the question, please? Where is your dog playing? Where is your dog playing? Mm, dog, and huh? dog. Mm -hmm. dog. And my dog and... My dog playing. Um, my dog playing um, in the house. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Who are you talking with right now, Sylvia? Who are you talking with right now? With you. <laughs> I'm talking with you. Excellent. I'm talking with you. Remember, you need to I'm complete the, the answers. Okay. Excellent. Questions, guys, or no questions at all? No. no. Okay. Let's see. We have one more minute. I'm going to ask the question for Leyland. Leyland, what is your a brother cooking. My brother cooking is. My brother is cooking. Uh huh. Okay. My brother is cooking um, chicken. <laughs> chicken. 
Okay. Uh, now, select one of your classmates, ask a question. Uh, Eugenio Martínez. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. <clears throat> Eugenio Martínez, where is your brother fighting? I'm sorry? Repeat. Can you repeat, please? What is your brother writing? What is your brother? Reading. 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 What is your brother oh, okay. reading? Reading. Uh, my brother reading. Um, my brother is reading. My brother is reading. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the news. The news. Okay. The Excellent. News. Vaya. Un <laughs> minuto. Preguntas. Eh, teacher, eh, yo solo quería comentar algo. Yes. Eh, he oído que varios compañeros están diciendo lo que les han mandado la información a, a su WhatsApp. Uh -huh. eh, quiero decirles que yo lo hice ahora. Uh -huh. Es solo de llenar una solicitud en línea uh -huh. y imprimir la otra solicitud e irla a dejar a, a inglés corporativo, nada más. Para ah, okay. el siguiente curso. Okay. Para el siguiente nivel. Eso Voy a enviarle en PDF escaneado. Para que no se mueva. Ah, ok. Que, no, que, yo, cuando es, que, yo, que yo sepa. Sí, se puede enviar este... escaneada. Se puede enviar escaneada. Yo pregunté y me dijeron eso, creo. Muchas gracias. Yo pregunté también y me dijeron que no. Oh, que tenía que ser el lapicero y llevarla. Y, Así lo entendí. Tienen que imprimirla, luego hacerla eh, a su puño y letra, y luego escanearla y luego enviarla a, por correo a MPD. Ok. Mañana es el último día de enviarla. Ok, gracias por la información. Otra pregunta. Gracias, Eugenio. Eugenio. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta que tengan relacionada a la clase? Hoy tenemos que completar la sesión 4 y 5 o solo la 4. Eh, según la información, dijeron que avanzaran hasta la, por lo menos la mitad de la 4, de la 5, perdón. Lo más que se pueda en lo la 5, porque, pueda, ajá. Ajá, porque supuestamente, no sé si ahora o mañana es que va a tomar notas. Sí, por eso les enseñé el presente continuous, que es lo que tienen que, eh, lo que le va a salir en los siguientes ejercicios. Vaya, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá. Seguimos practicando tomorrow. No les quito más tiempo. Si no han comido, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.